Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be exploring the best autoblogging plugin, aka WP Medico, that will save you a lot of time. So let's not lose time and just dive right into it. So this is the dashboard of WP Medico on WordPress and WP Medico is the easiest to use autoblogging plugin that will publish your posts automatically based on the configurations that you made. So we are on this uh, WP Medico settings where we need to make our uh, configurations and let's see what we've got here. So our first section is global settings for images and in this part you can see store images locally. So if you enable this button then it will save the copy of all your images uh, and all your content in the WordPress uh, uploads directory. So if you disable this, um, then um, your website will be uh, faster for your visitors. So let's just not enable this. Then we have this set um, first image in content as featured image. So if you're sure that um, the uh, first picture of, of your every content is suitable for being as a featured image, then you can check. Uh, and here you can see all the uh, allowed image extensions that you can upload. And here we've got the remove featured image from content. So this, uh, let's enable this and it works in case uh, uh, your featured image is displayed twice. And here we have also the uh, use custom field. So um, you can use this instead of a WordPress functions to improve your performance. Then we have global settings for videos and global settings for audios, which pretty much work the same as the images and uh, they can be uh, configured like the images to store uh, on the same place or use them remotely. So um, if you want your website to be faster, then you can just not enable this. Then we have this enable features uh, option section here, uh, which uh, says enable rewrite uh, features. So you can rewrite uh, a specific word or phrase uh, for every content that you have. And also here you can enable some words to categories feature so if your uh, uh, post contains uh, this specific word or um, phrase then it goes to this specific category which is a very useful one to have your website like organized and here are some of the professional features that you can make use of such as keyword filtering which will include and exclude your uh, post based on the keyword that you provide we have word count filters here so again it will filter your content based on the word count that you configure um, so we have custom titles here so if you want to have uh, custom titles uh, for your post and you need to activate it here then here is these uh, very useful feature attempt to get full content feature so instead of getting some extracts of the content you try to attempt get the full content feature and you need to enable this we have this author per feed feature so you can choose an author to assign um, the feed uh, you can also import feed list and again assign some authors to them uh, so auto tag so um, this um, feature will uh, automatically fill in the text uh, section when publishing your articles automatically then we have this custom fields and custom feed tags um, so uh, again you can add custom fields and uh, set some values values uh, for every post that you uh, will publish. Uh, we have this image uh, filter series uh, which will um, allow or skip images based on the dimensions that you uh, again configure it. For example, if it is uh, too much, uh, then you uh, might just skip this image. Then we have this uh, random rewrite feature so you can set synonyms of the same custom field and it will just play around and uh, assign uh, random um, um, words for each of your um, <laughs> And then we have this random rewrites feature where you can set some uh, synonyms for words so that they are not uh, uh, every time like repeated and then delete till the end of the line. So um, this feature allows to delete uh, from the first uh, uh, letter to the end. 
Another important section that we have here is advanced fetching. And the first line here says allow option on campaign to skip the content filters, which we do not recommend to enable because it is too risky and dangerous for your website to allow unfiltered content in it. Then we have this timeout running campaign feature where you can set the maximum uh, time that after which uh, your content just will not be posted if it's not posted uh, within that framework and the recommended uh, time slot is 300 uh, seconds. Then you can add also some delays um, after every post in seconds. So this might be useful if you want to give it some uh, breaks because uh, the service is already fetching a lot of posts. Then we have this um, deactivate duplicate controls so by default wp medico has this um, duplicate control which can be removed or um, uh, adjusted as needed for example you can uh, remove the title control uh, and uh, leave the hash uh, in um, case the uh, feed has uh, the same items with the same titles. We have this uh, continue fetching option here, which uh, unless it is the uh, first time, it is not recommended to enable because uh, it uh, goes over and reads again and again and creates items in the feed again and again. Nextly, we've got cron and scheduler settings and the first line here says use alternate WP cron. So some servers disable the functionalities that uh, enable uh, WordPress cron to work properly. So uh, if you mark this, then you uh, assure that the risk that the, this uh, uh, WordPress cron will work uh, are reduced to zero. Then you have this disable WP Medical scheduling. So if you disable this, uh, know that you will either need to do all your uh, campaign scheduling uh, manually uh, or use the external cron. Here you can also uh, set password to access your um, external crown here writing the code and you need to use this URL for manually scheduling your uh, campaigns. Then you have this option disable all WP cron again so if you are like it is not recommended until you want to um, use external uh, cron for uh, scheduling your campaigns uh, but anyways you are free to do that uh, and you should either use um, this or uh, this url uh, to do the scheduling manually we have also got some useful uh, WordPress backend tools uh, such as WP Medical Campaign, Colin, in Post Types and Lists. So here you can choose the number in which you want your uh, post to be displayed. Uh, I think five is good, but you can also configure it. Um, and I, I think I will stick to three. You can also disable Metabox WP Medical Campaign info and in just post editing. So it's just an extra feature. You can also show the button to empty trash on lists. Uh, again, this is an extra feature and you uh, can um, choose where you want, like uh, the post types that you want. Um, I think uh, posts and pages are enough. Uh, then you can also disable uh, WP dashboard widget for um, specific user roles. Um, you've got plenty of options here. Um, let's say subscriber, uh, customer, etc uh, and then when you go up uh, and you go to licenses here you uh, insert your license keys for updating uh, your uh, WP Medico and when you go to system status first of all you uh, will learn about your uh, plugins functioning uh, pretty well well so let's go there and here you can learn about the server environment, PHP environment, uh, WordPress environment, and like uh, detect the potential issues that might uh, like uh, interrupt the functioning of WP Medico. And also, um, needless to say, that if you uh, click this get system report, you will get assistance for free to configure your WP Medico. That's it about WP Medico and if you've still got any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to not miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.